Hello everybody and welcome back to your regular scheduled programming. Sorry, that's really nerdy, but I am back from winter break and back to blogging, blogging, and making videos again. So I want to take you along with me. Um, it's the weekend, so I thought I'd do a little weekend vlog. I'm about to head out to the Holborn area and get some work done, nothing too crazy, but the venue where we're getting work done is kind of cool and I may wander around afterwards, so I thought I'd bring you with me. I am bundled up because it is freezing here. Just have like an oversized sweater on, some jeggings because I love leggings as pants. I don't care if that's a faux pas. And I got these new booties over Christmas. They're gray, they're fun. Excuse my really messy room. It's a nightmare, you're not gonna see it. Um, but I thought I would bring along with me because tomorrow especially, I have some really cool things that I'm doing so I thought it'd be fun to show you. Um, but today I just studying being lame but thought you could see London while I wander so come on in. Um, thank you for watching. I forgot, I forgot how to speak apparently and forgot how to vlog so bear with me when I get back into the rhythm of things and get more comfortable doing this again. Sorry in advance for all the awkwardness that is sure to ensue. Super bundled up because it's freezing outside. Me. walking across Waterloo Bridge. It's the best views. City. The shards somewhere over there. The Thames. <sighs> so pretty. So I just got home from spending most of the day working at the Hoxton. There's a couple locations in London. It's like a boutique hotel chain, but their lobby is a great workspace if you're looking for somewhere to get studying or work done. It's a little noisy, so if you need a lot of concentration, it's not the best spot, but it's definitely more spacious than a Starbucks or a pret a manger So have a lot of outlets, great seating. The coffee isn't too expensive, but the food is kind of pricey, so I wouldn't recommend that. But now I'm home for the thrilling task of more studying, <laughs> um, eating dinner and cleaning. Today was really productive, probably not that exciting for vlogging, but I had to get a lot done because tomorrow I have more planned, which I will bring you along with, so I promise that'll be more exciting and hopefully by then I'll be back to the groove of vlogging and recording my life for YouTube, so it won't be as stilted or awkward as it usually is, but no promises, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning! It is Sunday and I'm about to head out the door to go to brunch at Sky Garden! I'm so excited, I've been wanting to go since I moved here, seen tons of photos and blog posts about it on Pinterest. I'm gonna have brunch in one of the restaurants there and I am running late as usual so I need to go catch the tube and get over there but I will take you with me and hopefully I can huddle down, be less frazzled and you can enjoy the panoramic London views with me, so let's go. In the city, pretty dead. 
So it's the Sunday. This is like the financial district. I think going up in that building right there. Ah, let's go. We're here. We're gonna go get our brunch. Riley looking very debonair. Stop focusing. There you go. <laughs> Look. Look at our view. I love places like this because you can take video and selfies without any shame because everyone's doing it. <laughs> that view so beautiful love that blue too here's the view at the other side the gherkin the city how cool would it be to come grab a cocktail here it's actually a good date idea Attention all future boyfriends, please come take me for drinks at Sky Garden. So Sky Garden is really cool, but to be honest, the actual garden portion is a bit disappointing. <laughs> thought there'd be like very exotic plants and such, but just kind of some palm trees, but the views make up for it. There's Riley down there having anxiety about if we should go to our exercise class when I'm fully checked out and trying to stall here so we don't make it in time. I have a bad friend. We just canceled our exercise class. Yay! So I'm gonna get Riley to putz around London with me instead of working out. I'm a horrible person. Come so and enjoy a coffee here. Taking the views. So we officially canceled our cycle classes and we got refunded because somebody took our spot on the wait list. We're you tomorrow. And there's also a really hot instructor keeping you tomorrow. So we're on the wait list for this class. So now we can just sit and enjoy some coffee, enjoy the sky garden, and wander in London. Um, I don't know, something about a lazy Sunday, just exploring, enjoying it really appeals to me, and I'm being a really bad influence and justifying it to him. I'm being like, oh, we need to treat ourselves. We don't want to stress the Sunday. So we're doing it, and it's amazing. store. I'm gonna go look at all the things that I either can't afford or shouldn't be buying. So, really healthy choice instead of spinning. We're doing the Sunday cows. The grand entrance.
so just got back from Selfridges. I'm glad I went because I've never been there before and I feel like it's a London institution and you should go. I always think of that Mr. Selfridge show with Jeremy Piven, aka Ari Gold, but that's besides the point. Anyway, it was pretty cool to see. However, I would say as far as like a department store experience, I am still Team Harrods. They're very similar that I can't really afford anything in either store, so I think I would just go to window shop and for the spectacle of being in a fancy department store, and I think Harrods definitely does that better. It's definitely more over the top and very singular design and glitz, so yeah, I'm glad I went though. Sorry I'm being negative Nancy. But I had a great Sunday fun day, just got home pretty tired long day hope you guys enjoyed seeing sky garden it was amazing definitely would go back um, I know it's definitely difficult to get tickets just to book there so I think I'd recommend getting a restaurant reservation if you can that's the more expensive option but if you're unable to get tickets to the actual terrace look at the restaurants so you can get a reservation for brunch we we're able to explore as much as we wanted afterward but yeah now I'm gonna be boring clean up my room um, <laughs> I feel like I'm always cleaning up my room because when I get right in the morning, things just fly everywhere and it becomes madness. But clean up, get ready for the week, do some homework, edit this vlog so go up tonight and work on some blog posts for the week. So I'm trying to post more regularly. Um, you can find that at alwayserin.com. So even though I don't post a video every day, I do try to update the blog pretty frequently. So I'm going to see my writing style photos lot there about my life in London and then yeah do some homework pack up my backpack for tomorrow I am gonna try to go to cycle tomorrow even though I convinced Riley not to go today and was a really bad influence a little devil on his shoulder but we did get on the wait list for a class tomorrow so hopefully that'll work out and I'll actually exercise like I say I keep going like I keep saying I am going to but yeah I hope you all had a really nice weekend got to relax and have some fun and I hope you all have a great week this week and I will see you in my next video I'm gonna film some hopefully to go up later this week more of a sit down style thing but if you like this give it a thumbs up and subscribe and check me out on all the social channels pretty pretty active on like Pinterest and Instagram if you want to follow along there but hope you all are well and it's good to be back in the YouTube space hopefully I'm not too awkward getting back in the swing of things so I'll see you next time bye guys